you decide to sell your content now online. But you kind of maybe lost between all those different options, different stores and everything, what you should choose, how you should sell. So I want to kind of share with you my knowledge, how to set up account and how to add products and start selling on a gum road. I do sell my uh, digital products on gum road for many years. And from my personal experience, uh, from having my own dedicated server, e-commerce server to create and the other options, I end up in the end using Gumroad. And so far, I, find, I think this is almost the best solution to sell your digital, how to sell your digital assets online, because it's very easy to stop, very easy to process, and plus all additional benefits they're providing. So you don't need also bigger investment to start. Let's look on a pricing. And when we click, you can see right here, you can start for free. And additional features, it's cost you $10. I would recommend eventually maybe going for the professional, but you always can start for free. Notice this is included unlimited bandwidth and the payments is 3.5 and 30 cents. Yes, it's maybe a little bit higher, but some other ones, but unlimited bandwidth and unlimited storage, it is a great for many uh, creators. Mostly if you produce like video content or other ones, you'll notice this. Besides this, some piece can go down depending how much you sell. Okay, so, but again, let's start selling. So how do we do this? Right here, you can see we have it start selling. So let's click on this button and you connect to the Facebook, Twitter or other account. I would recommend maybe going through Facebook or a little bit later to connect because it's allowed you to post announcement on a Twitter or Facebook or other social medias. However, for these tutorials, we're going to create um, biggerplay.com. We'll go create new account. Okay. And we'll just have it something very super secret. Um, I do recommend for you create um, complicated passwords so you never know who can access and it's better security. Well, I hope I'm not robot and let's go create account. Notice right here, it is come up and tell that account already exists. So it's kind of nice because I did use it before this email and it seems like still be there. So let's go ahead and switch this to um, different. So we'll go shop and photography and we'll leave it same and we'll see if it still be there. Actually, you know what, let's change. So we'll change password. Let's go ahead and create. And you notice now it did create it because it did not find email that was used previously. So as we create the account now on the top, we have it all this option, dashboard, products, customers, update profile, and also information about your account. If we're going in your account right now, we're free. So it's zero and we made no money. If we even click on our Account, you can see how much you have it past seven days, 30 days and your total. If you have it anything, it will display here. Also, our payout settings is not set. But let's do this a little bit later. We'll start first by updating our profile. And this is actually very important because many people will come to your store or other areas. And if they did not see information about you, this is where less likely they will buy it. So we'll go profile, we can go to the settings. And in the settings, we have our username, contact, support, and all this. So let's go ahead very fast over them. And at English, sell in US dollars. Okay, let's have a taxes if you want to apply it. For example, if you're in a state of Utah, where I'm located, so I can add where taxes. And of course, I can add all additional taxes they needed and will be collected. However, it will add a taxes, but it's your responsibility after to pay those taxes to properly state for which you collected. So let's go ahead and discover Gumroad. And Gumroad have a very nice built-in engine for people to discover to what sells. So right now it's showing my pro in discovery. Yes, I want it. And I want this actually put it in a photography group. Notice I update all this information. This information also will be pop up if you're going to dashboard and then will come up same kind of wizard for you to stop. But right now we don't need it. So I click, 
update my account and my account was updated. Next, what I want to do, it is right here. And let's look a couple other options. We can switch to buying affiliates, invite and log out. So we don't worry about those ones at this time. Let's go next, click on profile. And in profile, this is what will display for the people when they come and see your site. So actually, you know, what? shopping photography. I'll go use it, this one. So it's Gumroad, shop and photography, what I have. And it seems like it's all passed and we'll click create it. So it's all set. Now it's have it, um, my username. So when I want to redirect people, it will be gumroad.com forward slash shop and photography. So let's go ahead and click take me there. I'll notice this is another the profile that people will see when they come. First, we have our profile picture. We also have it a username which people will see and right here for example I want capitalize and maybe you no know, split like this let's add tagline so this will be digital okay and that people can see and access. So let's go also till we here switch our profile pic and we'll just select one and click upload. It takes a few seconds depending on how what speed you have to upload it. And I'll notice our image is changed when it's finished uploading. Okay, so right here it's some photo, not necessarily me, but it's make a point. Be sure when you do this before you jump to other places, click save. Okay. So it's save all your settings at this point. Now let's look on a style. And a style, you can notice we have a different type of the coloring. Also, it's changed some shapes. We can do pre-selected. So let's go to select, for example, New York with a square, a little bit different. Um, you could modify your own personal colors, but it's will available in the pro version. So you, right now we have it only for preset, but you can still modify some of the coloring like for the buttons and other elements so for example we click on a button and if i want orange i can select orange color and here you go we change our color as well color on a background but sometimes maybe you want to add picture and by click add in the elements we can upload it image or video be careful when you upload it video because it could be large expanded very pixelization maybe or if it's too big it's take time to upload it so you want to be very short kind of not so distracting from your product so let's go just upload it image and i'm just selecting image of the cloud and you notice it is processing and put it for us so right here is my background let's again save our changes so we did our profile picture um, next connections if when you connect your Facebook or a Twitter and I do recommend for you again connect them it's nest it's kind of help you to sell your product and also you have to follow form it's for the people you can prompt them to subscribe to your channel so they can see all updates they're receiving okay this is kind of all from setup of the profile in a next uh, video we'll go and see how to add uh, basic items for sale